It's B vitamins and vitamin C. Not that the fatty nutrients aren't important. They are important with the whole healthy start pack, but especially the BTT and the water-soluble nutrients. Okay? Okay, and I also have a, a question where I'd like to join your team, but I have some questions, and how can send I me, talk to you Send an that? email. Send an email to... Uh, uh, ben at ksco.com. Put your phone number in there. Say Susan from Texas in the subject subject line. I'll call you. Okay, thanks. Okay, thanks, Susan. Have a great day. Okay, bye bye. All right, Sandra in, uh, Sandra in Virginia. What's up? Good morning. Good morning to you. How are you? I'm fine. Uh, let me get off of this speakerphone here. Okay, okay. Okay, now I can talk to you. I have a question about zinc. Uh, my sister is looking to uh, um, get on the tangy tangerine and the whole healthy start pack, and I am too. I'm putting my mother on it, a uh, healthy brain and heart pack. Good um, deal. And she's in the nursing home. Oh, so she'll notice a difference. Uh, let me tell you something. I'm gonna, you're going to notice okay. a difference in like three days. Get her on the BTT, have her sipping on the BTT. You're going to notice mm -hmm. a significant difference. Nursing home patients benefit dramatically because they're so malnourished. And remember, yeah, well, the, I know. You know and, the, and I don't know if you've heard me say this, but uh, the more malnourished we are, the faster our body absorbs nutrients. So you're going to notice results very, very quickly. Have her sipping on the BTT, though. Not, don't do it all at once. Yeah, yeah. Okay. okay. All right. Go wonderful. Um, my sister has a question, actually, sure. um, uh, regarding zinc. She wants to know the foods other than oysters. <laughs> for, I mean, I, uh, her other husband does not like fish. She doesn't like fish, and she's trying to get him on zinc of some kind just to make sure, sure she gets the foods in him. She's trying to do the foods and the supplements for him, and then okay. you know she can maybe sneak it in later on or something. <laughs> but uh, how did you know? Well, not go to the doctor. How did you know about uh, the uh, about oysters from this show, or you just knew that? Uh, about oysters no, and zinc. Just, I guess all my life, people, so my dad used to say, oh, it's got zinc in it. You know, It's got lots of zinc. zinc. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. So the best sources are going to be seafood, uh, but also grains, yeah. whole grains. It's in the bran. It's in the yeah. outer part of the grain. Uh, mm -hmm. Meat, organ meats. Beans will have some. Organ meats are probably your best bet. R organ meats yeah. and poultry are going to give you your best if you don't do seafood. Zinc's amazing, yeah. though. You're not going to get it. You're not going to get enough, though, just from food. You yeah. eat a lot of a lot I, of red I know. meat. That's what I keep telling her. Yeah. So I, it's such a great supplement. I don't. It's like four bucks for three months supply or something. It's ridiculously yeah. cheap. Okay. <laughs> what's, what else I, is going I keep on? I'm telling her that. Anything um, else? Well, I was yeah. I was having. Um, I felt constipation. So about three or four weeks ago, I was having a lot of pain. And I did the enemas, I did the dulcolize, I did well, castor oil. In your colon, in your pain in the yeah, belly, like in the intestine? Nothing was, yeah, it was just a lot of pain. I thought, well, I just can't go to the bathroom. And I thought, well, why does it hurt so bad? I had to go to the emergency room after four days of trying to do this uh, colon cleanse thing. And uh, he says I had diverticulitis and I've got major infection. Put me on two um, strong uh, Cipro and um, Plantil, which is a broad spectrum stuff. And I had to go to have a CAT scan. He told me to go do that, so I found. What do you mean by my... pain? What do you mean by pain? Like really burning, sharp lower, pain? Lower left, sharp pain, stabbing pain. Yeah. Oh, in the geez. Lower, okay. Lower. okay. Okay. And okay. I had, okay. I'd had constipation before, you know, and taken a, a, a laxative or something and got rid of it. Well, I've been reading up on everything about the gluten-free stuff, and my sister is, but I haven't been. I changed after all this junk going on, and I went through that round of antibiotics, which I despised. But now I'm I'm taking the probiotics and stuff, but. I need to find out if I'm doing the right thing. I'm going gluten free. I'm going dairy free. Um, just go everything free. Go ev go everything. No, listen. You don't just go. No, yeah. I'm not kidding you. All go everything food. free and then start introducing foods again because it could be anything. You know, it's yeah. not just. Well, they tell me I had. They tell me I had a cyst in my. Let's see, I had a swollen leftovers all on the left side. Swollen oh, leftovers, a cyst in my kidney, and I had a little all bit right. of. Um, well, you're starting to break down, sweetheart. Here's the deal. You're starting yeah, to break down. Okay, so here's what you got to do. You got to take emergency measures now, okay? Yeah. So you've right. got to do what you got to do. Stop eating for a while. Two days, three days. You got to fast because you got to figure okay. out what's going on in there. You got, but this is okay. like not good. I mean, you can reverse okay. it, but you got to take serious measures here. You got to okay. you got to uh, uh, stop eating, and then you're going to reintroduce foods very carefully, 
very carefully okay. and then uh, notice what happens with specific foods and try to keep those foods as simple as possible so you know what's doing what. You know what I'm saying? Just mm -hmm. an egg instead of an egg salad sandwich, just an egg. Instead of a chicken okay, salad yeah. sandwich, just a piece of chicken. Instead of a big old salad, yeah. just a tomato. So this, you're gonna, this is going to be a process, but you're going to have to find out what's going on. Dairy is definitely a su most likely suspect, so are all grains and flours. So you can you know, pretty much yeah. assume those are going to be problematic. And then uh, start, when you're eating again, eat very little. Eat only what you need. The, you don't have a lot of room for error here. You know, most of us, we indulge in our foods. The, to the degree you're indulging is the degree you're going to have a problem. So get to know your digestive system and when you've had enough. And don't eat unless you need to. And use liquid nutrients, especially bone soup, chicken soup, bones okay. with, with bones, liquid protein, the BTT, liquid nutrients. You want to take it, you, you want to give your digestive system as little work to do as possible. All right. and, then the, and then the fermented foods, fermented veggies, get to know fermented veggies, they're very helpful. Use uh, ground up vegetables, and you may want to heat them slightly to release the nutrients, but ground them up, grind them up. The nutrients are incredibly important. The nitrates and the fiber are super important for the digestive tract, in addition to the probiotics and apple cider vinegar and the enzymes. And then keep your sugar intake down to a minimum. And I, you know, I know this is all hard to do, but you, to the degree you do it, is the degree you'll feel better. And then start using your new, you know, the Healthy Start Pack. Obviously, that goes without saying. Yeah. Okay, I got. I want to move on, Sandra. Uh, I got a couple right, more thanks. calls. Okay. Thanks so much. God bless you. I hope okay. everything works out. Brian in New Hampshire, what's up, man? Hey Ben, I hey. just wanted to uh, talk to you because um, going on with your theme of your show, I actually um, was stupid enough to experiment with L-DOPA and GABA as two supplements, which gave me serotonin syndrome a, a couple of years back. Oh, no and, kidding. Uh, so you experienced it. Oh, yeah. It's and I awful. Knew it when it came on because I, re I read about it and everything. But um, for, uh, for some reason, I, I thought that tyrosine, you know, I, I, I wasn't taking tyrosine, and, and I acquired L-DOPA. And obviously, I've learned my lesson. <laughs> L-DOPA will it's kick, your butt. kick oh, yeah. your butt. will kick your butt. That's funny. You know, dopamine is your pleasure, your reward hormone. That's the whole idea. Dopamine's a reward hormone. It's a pleasure hormone, but you can't take too much of it. You'll go nuts, and you get all jittery and anxiety. That's, you're, you have, you're absolutely correct. You experience that. Uh, a serotonin syndrome, man. Can you imagine this? High blood pressure, diarrhea, vomiting, anxiety. Thanks for your call, uh, uh, Brian. Appreciate it. Okay, that's all the time we have left on the bright side. I apologize if I left you on hold. Please call back tomorrow, and uh, we'll get you first up. Tell our call screener that you were left on hold. We'll get you first up. If you want to purchase any of our Truth Treatment products, head to truthtreatments.com. And if you want to join the Bright Side Ben team, please call 866-735-2470 and tell them you want to join the team. I'm Pharmacist Ben. Thanks for listening. Have yourselves a wonderful, beautiful, spectacular day. We'll talk to you all later. Bye for now.